Have any of you ever set up your alarm clock to wake up in the morning? I'm sure you have. Of course, I'm not asking you how many of you were successful in waking up after the alarm goes. Just asking you how many of you set up your alarms to wake up in the morning. It's quite amazing to see the different reactions of different individuals when the alarm goes. Some guys, when the alarm rings, they're so deep in their sleep, practically in a state of slumber, that everyone around them wakes up. But these guys are fast asleep. In our monastery, we had one monk who had a huge big alarm clock with equally bigger or probably a bigger sound. And we had a rule in our monastery that no one would set an alarm before four in the morning. And this guy would set up his alarm at half two in the morning and the alarm would keep ringing and he would never wake up. Most of our monks would be so dead tired that they wouldn't even bother and they would just continue sleeping although disturbed. One day, one of our monks was so disturbed with the ringing alarm, he got up in a state of fury, picked up this large ringing alarm clock and went to the balcony, our monastery is on the second floor, and threw the alarm clock across our courtyard on the street just facing our monastery. The alarm clock hit the street, broke open into two pieces, yet continued ringing aloud. The whole neighborhood got up, but the guy who set the alarm clock was still fast asleep in a state of slumber. I call these guys the sleepers. The second type are those who, when the alarm rings, say, let me sleep for five minutes more. These guys profusely express their gratitude to God for having inspired that gentleman who invented the snooze button. I'm sure some of you are nodding. When people keep the snoozing five more minutes, another five minutes, another five minutes. But at least these guys, at the fourth or the fifth snooze, wake up. I call these guys the snoozers. The third category is of those guys who at the first ring of the alarm wake up. They continue sitting in their bed though, completely confused, lost, asking themselves, who am I? What is the purpose of my life? Why did I set the alarm in the first place? And then conveniently they turn the alarm off and go back to sleep again. I call these guys the fallers. Not the fallers in the North American sense as in the guys who fell trees, but fallers as in the guys who wake up and fall back to sleep. And then the fourth guys are those who when they hear the alarm, the first string, actually wake up get out of bed and hit the floor to start with their day-to-day -day activities. Ladies and gentlemen, my question to all of you is, which one of these four are you? In terms of actually waking up when the alarm rings, let's start going to level four. I call them the wakers who actually wake up as soon as the alarm rings. Spiritual wisdom is like an alarm. The alarm of spiritual wisdom is meant to awaken us internally so that we can make proper choices. We can think right, do right, and live right. And when the spiritual wisdom alarm clock rings, there are four types of reactions again. The first are the sleepers. They keep hearing the alarm, but they're in such a state of deep slumber and ignorance that they don't hear at all. In fact, they just continue with their old ways. They continue making wrong choices. They don't even bother about transforming themselves or the inner awakening. Type two are the snoozers. Those who, when they hear the alarm clock, spiritual wisdom, they say, yes, we will change. 
we must change we want to change we have to change not today though tomorrow snooze snooze they keep postponing the snoozers the third type are the followers when spiritual wisdom and awakening comes to them they actually wake up they start changing they start living right they start doing right but then for some reason they go back to their old ways wrong ways complacent ways lethargic ways not so right ways the followers and the last type is the wakers these are those people who when spiritual wisdom is heard by them they'll wake up awaken and start the process of transformation and change by the earliest yes ladies and gentlemen all of us have to be wakers we don't want to be sleepers snoozers or followers we want to be wakers when the alarm of spiritual wisdom rings let us all take that awakening very seriously think right speak right do right and live right thank you